Okay, so let's say you're trying to work on your pull-ups. Maybe you've never done one, and you want to get stronger at them. Maybe you just want to be able to knock out two or three, which is actually a really good functional thing to be able to do to pull up your own body weight if you need it in a situation. So the first thing you want to do is actually warm up. So I would do maybe some jump rope in place for maybe three, five, ten minutes just to get your muscles moving and get that blood circulating so you feel warmed up and not just go right into a, a pull-up. The other thing I would do is do some light stretches, so just maybe like some side bends. Another one is maybe holding both hands up and then going side to side with both arms. Knees are soft, back is up nice and tall, abs are tucked in. Another good one is just bring forward, stretching through your upper back. And then you can also open your arms, pull back through your upper chest and shoulders. You can do some arm circles backwards. You can also do them forward. So give yourself a few minutes to warm up and just be ready for the pull-ups. All right, so let's say you have your pull-up bar and you actually have a chair, a nice sturdy chair. Well, you can use your legs to assist you in your pull-up. And what I like about this is you actually get to pick how much assistance that your legs use. So a couple things to remember when you're doing pull-ups. If you go to a nice wide grip, you're going to actually build the lats out wide to give you kind of that V shape on the upper body. Um, if you go close grip, it will actually feel a little easier. Uh, more biceps are going to kick in. Your back is still working, but more biceps are going to tap into that. So you can go overhand or you can go underhand grip. I like to do all different types of grip, but for this one, I'm going to show you a wide grip, as, as wide as I can go anyways on this pull-up bar. So you just step on, make sure you're stepping. Another great way to do an assisted pull-up is to actually use a band. So these are really thick and they're great for pull-ups. So I have three different levels. And let's say you're just warming up. I would use a thicker band just to give your muscles a chance to warm up. So your first put, um, your first pull-up will always be considered a more of a warm-up. So I'm gonna actually use a second one because this one would be just too much assistance for me. And I might not even be able to stretch it out. So I'm gonna use this one. You can just wrap it around. Make sure your pull-up bar is steady, of course. Just place one foot in, and this will assist you on your pull-ups. Another thing I like to do is, if I put my right foot in this time, the next time I'm gonna actually put my left foot in, because it does feel different. And you can actually put both feet in as well if you're comfortable with that. Also think about maybe when you're in elementary school, like when I was in elementary school, um, we used to have to do, they would time us to do chin-ups and we would have to hold ourselves above the bar as long as we can. And this will actually help you build strength as well, especially at that top of that pull, which is sometimes the hardest when you're working on your pull-ups to go all the way up. So let's do that. Another great way to work on your pull-ups is to do the negatives. You're not going to worry about the pull-up part. You're going to worry about the coming down part. That We call that the negative, and I'll show you how to do that. You're going to go down as slow as you can. Now with this band, my feet will actually probably hit the floor. So I'm gonna have to bend my knees a little bit in order to get that full range of motion, go all the way up and then come all the way down. If you're taller than me, which you probably are, you can also place a knee in the band and then do your pull-ups. 